Years ago, when I lived in Colorado, I started experimenting with different ways to light my bowls. I'd never really thought about it before. For the most part, I would just get like a Bic lighter from the gas station and use that. But I started to learn about things like hot rods and hemp wick. And I was like, you know what? Let's try out some new stuff. And for a while, I was pretty big on hemp wick. If you watch my content, you know, I don't really like it now. I think it makes your bowls worse. But for a while, I was using hemp wick and I was like, yeah, bro, we're getting rid of the nasty butane taste. And I was thinking, you know, how do I how do I take this to the next step? And I found electric lighters or arc lighters that use a little bolt of electricity instead of a flame powered by butane. I thought to myself, yo, this is going to be perfect. I'm going to completely get rid of the butane. I can light the hemp wick with the electric lighter and there's literally going to be no butane, not even to light the wick. My lighter won't be able to run out of gas. I'll just be able to recharge it. It's going to be so dope. So I popped on the Amazon, did a little bit of digging, found an arc lighter lighter and I ordered and I was like this is gonna be so sick I'm gonna have an electric lighter I'm not gonna use any butane I'm hitting bowls on a whole new level a lot of the arc lighters aren't really designed to hit a bowl they are designed to hit like a joint or a cigarette or something like that so I had heard people talk about well it's kind of hard to get it into the bowl so I was thinking I was either gonna try to light my bowl directly with the arc light or the plasma light or whatever you want to call it or light my wick and use it I had both of the thoughts so I was like I could literally just get rid of the butane completely well came in the mail i had a big old fresh bowl packed i'm ready to take a hit i have my lighter fully charged i'm like let's do this i go to hit my bowl i hit the button and instantly i was like i'll probably never use this thing again the reason i don't use arc lighters or electric lighters the reason i don't use those dogs the reason i don't use my arc lighter is dogs Come on, let's get a treat. I may have had to use a treat to trick them into getting on camera. Shh, they don't know they were filmed. They didn't sign the release. But dogs, the first time that I ever used my arc lighter, the first time I ever used my electric lighter, I could tell my dog was just a little upset by it. You see, to make that little lightning bolt, that little arc of lightning, you need a really high frequency of electricity, which makes a really, really high pitched noise. It's like an electric dog whistle. My dog was like freaking out a little bit. Like, what's, what's that noise? What's going down? You see, I could slightly hear the high pitched ring, the high pitched noise from it but apparently like the younger you are the the louder it is or the worse it is if you're an animal it's really loud like i couldn't tell how loud it was for them but it was like a little bit annoying for me so i'm like bro this is probably terrible for the dogs you see i bought mine years ago they didn't actually have a lot of information on the noise from it i went through and i scrolled all like the questions on amazon i scrolled through the reviews and nobody really mentioned the high frequency or the high pitch noise so it was kind of a surprise to me i did a little bit of research and digging on reddit and stuff later and a lot of people talked about the high pitch noise and some of them even talked about if you used it too long it got really really hot like some of them don't do a great job of regular regulating the temperature or like stopping you from using it so at the end of the day while it seemed like it was a cool idea in practice it just it didn't work out for me <laughs> i don't need to piss my dogs off every time i take a bong rip like imagine you're like grandpa watching the grandkids and you're like ah let me go in the other room and light up using my arc lighter my electric lighter and it's like making a blaring noise you wake up the grandkids in the next room and like we know what you're doing i'm tired of you smoking grandpa that's too damn bad <laughs> I'm just kidding. There are other kinds of electric lighters out there. Some of them really just heat like a coil or a ceramic rod. You ever heard of a hot rod? There are some that just have like a little stove coil or like a vape pen coil. That you just push like a joint or something into. They get red hot. But the arc lighters, the ones that use like a bolt of electricity. If you have pets, maybe just don't get one. Maybe you're just going to be flicking a bick. If you want to get high with me, I do a smoke sesh every night on Twitch, 9 p.m. Eastern. In a few days on May 20th, I'm doing my first combustion hits of the year. And if you want to hear why I don't like Hempwick, I used to like it. But then after a lot of experimenting, I was like, you know what? It's not as good as I thought. Check out this video.